and try this out. All right, it says to match these up. I wonder what happens if I get out my fancy ruler here. Uh, we have 6.05 times 1,000. Uh, I know that that is going to be, I need to get the angle correct here. Maybe this isn't gonna work so well, but let's see how I can get it on there, okay? All right, so this angle needs to be from here to there. All right, you could get out your rulers and do the same if you'd like. Let's do purple for the first line. All right, there's my purple going down to 6,050. Okay, and then for the next one, let's look here. We have 1.04 times 100. That's part B is 1.04 times 100. If I move the decimal two places to the right, I get 104. So let's make that line there. Okay. And then for 7.8 times 1,000, we need to move the decimal three places. So I'll write it maybe a little bit. One, two, three. I can see that's going to be 7,800. All right. So there's, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, 7,800 there uh, for that one. And then 1 1.4 times 10 should be 14. Just move the decimal one place to the right there. Okay, and then for the next one, uh, I have 6.5 times 100. So I will say that's going to be 650. So make sure you got those lines in there, or you have that line there, okay? All right, and that does it for the top section. And on the bottom section, it says, think of a number with two decimal places. Multiply your number by 10, 100, and 1,000. Number with two decimal places, it's going to be 0 0.42. And then I need to multiply by 10. Uh, so I'll just write 0 0.42 times 10 equals 4.2. And then 0 0.42 times 100 equals 42. I move the decimal two places to the right there. Okay, and then I'll do write the other one over here, 0 0.42 times 1,000. And here I just need to move the decimal three places, one, two, three, and that should equal 420, 420. All right, so I think we have the right answer there and let's move on, shall we? That is page 103 in the books.